Hey everyone, today I'm with Alex and Alex is with the company lab and he's going to show us around and company lab is an incubator come space for come people to come and start their own companies and become an entrepreneur, right? Absolutely. Like uh, again, my name is Alex Lavage. So glad you're with us. Um, I'm an entrepreneur in residence here at the company lab. Over the past year, I've overseen several accelerator programs that are sponsored and held by this nonprofit organization here in the heart of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, the Company Lab is much more than accelerators. In a lot of ways, this is the front door to the entrepreneurial community in Chattanooga. Right now, we're in the heart of the Edney Building on 11th and Market Street. A little bit of information is about the Edney Building right over here. Essentially, this is in the heart of the Innovation District. There are roughly 80 Innovation Districts around the world. Chattanooga is the only mid-sized city in the U.S. to have an Innovation District of its own. Essentially what that means is that you're in the middle of a community where there are lots of knowledge workers, there's lots of disruptive technology, there are lots of people thinking about both social innovation and business innovation to make the world a better place. So we can walk into the company lab here real, real quickly. Here's a very important meeting going on. Try not to bother them. Essentially, what is, company, uh, what is the company lab about? It's about helping people start, get connected, build their vision, as well as inspire them to keep going. It inspires others in the community to also give back as well. One of the sayings we have here in Chattanooga is uh, we've got one of the fastest internet infrastructures in the country. We're now at 10 gigabytes, over 600 square miles of surface area. What's really exciting about that is um, not only is that providing a lot of opportunities for innovation and technological progress, but also uh, we have a metaphor that we often say the only thing moving faster than the internet here in Chattanooga is the rate at which people come together to help each other and ask uh, what can we be doing better. Um, here we have a lot of the employees that are working with the nonprofit organization. So these are all the employees of yes, the company? absolutely, that are waving at us. Um, and over here we have a program called the Co-Starters, which if Rebecca has a few minutes to chat about, uh, she can tell you uh, what Co-Starters is actually now doing around the world. Okay, so that's how you say it. Hey Rebecca. Hi. So tell us more about Co-Starters. Um, Co-Starters is a nine-week program that helps entrepreneurs at any stage of business, um, but the common thing is that they're stuck. Maybe they're stuck because it's a new idea, or maybe they're stuck because they've been in business for a while and it's just not working how they expect it to be. Um, and the way it works is they meet once a week for three hours uh, in a group of 10 to 15 entrepreneurs um, led by a facilitator who's an experienced business person from the community. Um, and they work through their business ideas using our version of the business model canvas, um, which is all about just going back to the basics and iterating by talking to customers and identifying what your assumptions are about why and how your business is going to work and then honing it along the way through the nine weeks. Um, we started here in Chattanooga with Co-Starters and we now license the program to communities around the country uh, and the world uh, and we're in about 50 places now around the U.S. and New Zealand uh, supporting startup communities. Very cool. So what does it cost uh, for the co-starter founder or the company CEO to come in and join the program? So that depends on the organization. Uh, so we have a very wide range um, depending on the community, depending on the organization running it. Um, our only requirement is that the entrepreneur has to pay something so that they have a vested interest in actually doing the program. Uh, but we've seen the program priced anywhere from $100 to $1,500. Um, just depending on the community. Very cool. And how much does it cost to get a license from you guys? Um, so for a basic license, it's an annual licensing fee of $5,000. There's also a training process. Uh, we send our team to train local people on facilitating the program to ensure quality uh, and consistency and how it's delivered. Uh, so that's $2,500 and then there's a material fee to buy the materials ongoing. Brilliant. So how can they contact you? On email, maybe? Uh, yeah, they can go to our website, co-starters.co, um, and get started, or uh, email, uh, let's see, get started at co-starters.co. Brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. My own video. <laughs> <laughs> I love your, these thingies. Really cool. You know, for an open space, I think this is a must. This is really cool.
Except we always forget to turn them. I'll show you their map back here as well. It's not quite accurate, but <laughs> close enough. Got a lot of fun flyers. That's, that's a good one when Outside Magazine called us the best town ever. Um, they also have running polls each year where they ask for the uh, most favorite outdoor city in the U.S. I think, believe Chattanooga won again hmm. as well. So we have a very strong outdoor recreational culture here. Here was the um, map that Rebecca was talking about where you're starting to see, and like she said, this hasn't been updated, but we're starting to see these Coast Guard communities uh, blossom across the country and hopefully around the world as well um, to make this an international movement, much like what you yourself have been supporting throughout your lifetime, supporting the entrepreneurial spirit um, across borders. So if you like, I can uh, show you upstairs and sure. show you some of the space there.